And in entertainment, the feud between Cynthia Morgan and Judo Kwe has brought to light the uncertainties that come with the business of music. There is an evidence of disparities between talent and talent managers. Not side record claims that that's just how businesses work and uh, businesses are conducted. And Cynthia Morgan is claiming mismanagement. Joining us in the studio is Foza, an entertainment lawyer, to clarify some of these issues. Hi, Foza. Thank you for joining us today. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good afternoon. I'm well. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, just to jump straight into the questions, what exactly should artists be looking for in a good contract? Well, technically, there's nothing like a good or bad contract. Right. A contract is whatever you are, you agree to and you negotiate. You can't call something a bad contract after you agreed to it. Right. That I don't think I don't think that's fair. You get yeah. it's, it's fundamental principle in business, which is you get you never get you get, never get what you're what you only get what you bargain for right okay. so that you negotiate is what you mm. get so sometimes it might be above your what sometimes it can be below your what okay so yeah sorry you just to go more, more specific into the question um a lot of the times when talents go to management they end up being swindled or something goes wrong so i guess maybe to to really go niche on that question is what should they be looking out for? Are there certain things that should be stated in a contract when it comes to signing a, an, an upcoming artist or so, anything that has to do with the creative so that things don't actually go wrong? I'm not back to where we are now right now with um, Cynthia Morgan and Jude. So the thing is, everybody, everybody in the public keeps saying, what should the artist look out for? For the past seven years, we've been talking about what the artist should look out for. Meanwhile, they need to be looking out for themselves because they are the fundamental issues of the contracts. 90% of the time, the issues we have with record label contracts, management contracts, stems from the artist, not essentially from the contract, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a few bad eggs that don't do what they're supposed to do, which is the label or the management. But half the time, the artists are being unreasonable. And that's what leads to dispute because right. for every contract, it gets to a point where both parties don't meet anymore. Everybody comes back to the table and try to, you know, retalk or renegotiate or find a middle ground, right? So to answer your question, which I'm tired of answering because we've been doing that answer for five years now, is before you go into any contract with anybody, first of all, you check the character and the cap capability of the person you're signing because no matter how good a contract is, if the person on the other end is an unreasonable person, there's no way that relationship is going to mm. flourish. Mm. Simple, right? So if you're going into an agreement with a manager or a label, you have to ask yourself as an artist, what do I need currently in my, in my mm. career? You know, what do I currently need? And can that person give it to me? The first problem is that most artists don't know what they need. The mm. first thing they say, if you ask an artist, what do you need? They tell you they want to blow. Blow is not a need. It's mm. a fallacy, mm. right? So if it, at a certain point in your career and you feel like, okay, I need a, a, a manager that has the best network in terms of digital marketing, in terms of media plugging, then you, you check those qualities in that manager. Okay. However, if you have a manager that doesn't have you know, that quality, you can also now say, okay, instead of you taking 20%, you can cut it down to 10% so that you can bring someone else to augment, you know, okay. and, and the person can share. So really, for you to check out, for you to know what you need in a contract, is what, uh, what you look out for in a contract is really what you as the artist need. Okay, so... And that's it. Um, the uh, the record label uh, manager Judo Koye mentioned that it is pretty much illegal for him to own the rights to his artist in question, Cynthia Morgan's stage name. Is that a is that a true statement? Legally speaking, can somebody actually own the rights to use a certain stage name so that at the end of the day you have to change it because you can't? It's no longer yours. Is that is that possible legally speaking? Legally speaking, I can own a stage name. Right. So if the stage name, if I, for example, if I'm the one that created the personal Lagbaja, you know, I said, OK, this personal, because you have to understand that it's a, a stage name is a character. So if, if let's say I was the one on Beyonce's team that conceptualized Sasha Fierce, which is a completely different character from Beyonce. Yes. Right. I have the right to own that character. Right. <laughs> Why would you think that it's unfair for me? to own that character that I've sat down, conceptualized, put this, put this, put that in, into it. Mm. Now, the issue, what 
Jude was referring to was as regards Cynthia Morgan is a real name, yes. right? I think. Yes, it is. Sure. Yes. Cynthia Morgan is a legal name, right? And if since Jude Okoye legally cannot stop her from using a legal name to do whatever she wants to do. Mm. However, if Cynthia Morgan was written in a certain way or the certain brand was built along Cynthia Morgan for the purpose of being a performer, it can go to court, it can go to the trademark registry and trademark that name. Right. And if he trademarks it, he owns it. Okay. So, you know, there's there's something not sitting right between Cynthia's statement and Jude's statement. Either both of them are confused and we don't, like, I, I don't have the full facts of the case to know what exactly that, she's that, complaining that about. That is a good way to wrap this up. There's definitely something else there, but thank you for shedding more light on it, legally speaking. That is a wrap on entertainment. My name is Ife Omai.